whole network's driving me mad. Drew Seven, just quickly, briefly. Oh, in the Drew Seven one. <laughs> and what they mean to you? Come on, tell them. This guy here, Dean, is like a brother to me. He, he helps me to train. Sometimes when I don't want to wake up, he, he comes up to my house and if I, if you ring my phone, he'd answer, ring my doorbell. This guy here, Dean, is like a brother to me. This guy here, Dean, is like a brother to me. This guy here, Dean, is like a brother to me. This guy here, Dean, is like a brother to me. Tell us about your relationship with Dillian. No, Dillian's my bro. You hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. How are you feeling here? I'm just on my way over to. Uh, I'm just on my way over to uh, Mickey's Athletic in Barnsley to see Mick and Josh. See how they're going on. Be a good uh, morning over there. I think I'm over at Clinton's this afternoon, Sheffield. So it's all good, isn't it? Fully booked up for that week. Might get Terry on Zoom this week as well. But getting back to Josh, uh, I can't say too much about his next fight because dates changed, but it's all looking good. Uh, Gonna surprise a few people if it comes off, so let's see, let's hope it all goes well for Josh because he's not been out for a while and he's been knocking fights fights back. Because it's got to be the right fight, hasn't it, at this time of his career. That's why it's good to have a good team around you, like his dad and uh, the rest of his team, so it's all good, isn't it? Shout out to his brother Dempsey's set a company up. Uh, they're doing healthy, healthy uh, meal options. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's delivered to your door. I'll probably find out more today. Uh, Cam, if you when you edit this into one with all them other little clips, put his logo up. I forgot what it's called. Now. Is it DNA meals or something, something like that? So all good positive stuff, isn't it? Good kid, Dempsey Whale. Food looks gorgeous. I even get some freebies today. I get where water goes, I know, don't I? So, it's all good. I love Mondays, I always attack Mondays, but... I didn't get a chance to listen to Asylum last night, I hope it were a good one. Fell asleep. So, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, we'll clip all this, these clips in together then, Cam, and uh, we'll give them something to watch. Oh, Porky followers and hardcore boxing fans. I wonder how many hardcore boxing fans, before I finish off, I'm just going to ask this question. How many of them hardcore boxing fans have actually got a job? I don't know, I'm just wondering. So, if not, I could have them posting Porky leaflets, can I? If anybody wants a job posting Porky leaflets, I've got 4,000 and something left. There's a few in boot. I've got another four packs of 1,000, so if any of you have got no to do and you've got some spare time, got a lot of energy to get rid of, come see me and I'll give you a couple of thousand leaflets and you can go post them and I'll uh, give you a drink. Or I could put you on a Dennis Hobson ticket deal for Dennis Hobson's driving show. So, but then again, you're not going to have cars, are you? So how are you going to get in? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Peace out. Well, it's Thursday and uh, there's no rest for the wicked. How are you doing, Josh? Hey, good rest. You, uh, Another busy day in the gym for you. Yeah, right. Uh, how are you finding it having your new, new gym, Josh? Is it all right? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's everything we've ever dreamed of. It's what the gym is all the time here at Brampton. That, that's what it's all about. I mean, my dad's been running boxing clubs for the last 25 years, so 
we've always wanted one in his own town loan. Yeah. As it happened, I just dropped on. We've, we've never, uh, we've never had one here. So mm. obviously, we're all bit more. It's here in Brampton. We're Brampton born and bred. Yeah, and uh, how was your training going, Josh? All right. Yeah, yeah just ticking on. Obviously, we pandemic we didn't really know what were happening mm. for uh, quite a few months it's, it's been hard for everybody but seeing the light in the tunnel now Paul, things are starting to uh, slowly open up so yeah so, you should be getting a date any day then josh yeah yeah, yeah it should be yeah, yeah. so it's all exciting stuff yeah. you think dennis will deliver he's oh yeah he's always done the car he's, he's done everything that he said yeah he's done everything he said people can you know dennis when he tells you something it's gonna happen you know mm. it, yeah, uh, everything he's told me that I'm gonna get and he's gonna do, he's done it. Even Steve Cumber has been brilliant for me. I, I can't speak either of them. So yeah. And are you are you happy with uh, being IBO international champion and that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That yeah. make you proud, Josh? Yeah, I'm proud of it. every belt I've won. Yeah. Uh, How many belts have you won altogether, Josh? Six now. Six yeah, belts. Yeah. In free weight division. Yeah, in free weight division. So, you know, I'm, I'm immensely proud of what I've achieved and stuff like that. Mm. Um, obviously, my central area, my two British masters, English, British, mm. um, and my IBO international. Um, I'm up here, I'm, I'm proud of them all. You know, mm. all my belts that, uh, that I've won. Yeah. But I, I still know there's, there's still some good nights left in me, you know, that, that's why I'm still here, Paul. that's why I'm, I'm still working out every day. Um, I'm, I've still got my art set, I'm, I'm not fulfilled yet, because so I know there's more to offer. Mm. And when me and my dad sit down and say, we've done everything what we've set out to do, we'll be happy. We, we have to a certain extent, uh, but we just feel there's a lot more in me. I mean, probably my performance in November against Felix Williams, uh, or 28 and 1, Massive, massive, massive puncher. You, you, you know, you have frightening power. That was one of the best performances in my career. So, when you're performing at that kind of level, then it's, you know you've got to keep pushing on. Yeah. So, so I've been was... professional now for years, Paul. So it's so, in, yeah. you know people think to me, oh God, you you had some hard pace in that, and I, I don't really think I've, I've lived right outside of it. Uh, that that's one of my biggest things. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm good to go. For. You've looked after yourself, Josh, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the most thing I'm, I'm proud of. Me, uh, you know, it's a lot of dedication to be dedicated to your sport and craft for 14 years. I mean, obviously, I, I love amateur and boxing, I love amateur. You, you've got to be committed to that, but professionally, to, to do it for 14 years, it's a long time, mate. And never take your blinkers off, you know, and some go in line. Yeah, and uh, do you think that? Not drinking, not overeating, you don't smoke, you don't party and all that. You think that that's going to add three or four more years to your, your career? Because normally people retire at your age at this weight class, don't yeah, they, Josh? Yeah, um, definitely. If, if I keep performing like I do, then there's no, there's no stopping me. Yeah. Um, like, like you just said, it, they, they take years off you, you know, if you're abusing your body. Mm. Um, so, yeah. I spoke to your dad a couple of weeks ago. He said that obviously when you when you were training, uh, he said to me that you were a lot more fiercer and sharper and stronger in the gym at this new weight. Do you yeah. do, you, do you agree with that, Josh? Yeah, definitely. I think as you get older, you, you know, you grow up. I mean, uh, when I've done boxing, I'll, I'll just be I'll bang some weight on. You know what I mean? So as you, as you get older, your metabolism slows down. So you, you've got, a lot of kids don't go up in weight because. One, they're scared that they're not going to be strong enough. Yeah. And they, they get to a certain level, a certain weight catching, and they think they're going to have to build up again. But I've been, I've been, I've been courageous enough to just say, yeah, let, you know, time's up at that weight, but let's go again. And like you said, I've won, won you know, three different weight catches. Not many people can say that. So. Yeah. Do you think you might ever step up to super feather, Josh, if right yeah. opportunity arose? If right opportunity come, I'd like to be a four weight champion, you know. At mini, obviously, I, I try and do. Yeah, I'm trying, you know, as far as I can featherweight, maybe add another belt to featherweight, and yeah, you, you don't know. It'd be nice to, to do it over uh, four weight. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, you like a fine wine, Josh. Yeah. So <laughs> the uh, maturing well. One pop. Go. How do we keep safe? Right on that. Right on that.
Good then, Silvano, all right, mate? Good, thanks. By yourself? I'm all right. How are you keeping? Good, yeah, steady, pal. Busy, busy. Uh, you've set a business, man, you, you and your uh, missus? Yeah, it's a, it's a nutritional uh, prepping, meal prepping company, pal. So, um, just just give me a cent idea. We, uh, we're always doing my own and people asking where I got them from. Uh, they, they look nice and always thought we were a compliment line, so I thought, given current climate, no work. Um, why, why, why not try and do some new pal and after two weeks of training I think it's paying off for a bit of little time and effort and it's paying off for that's brilliant and, uh, you're happy I'm happy yeah. busy, aren't you, yeah? very busy pal yeah it's hard work it's something different learning yeah. weight but I'm enjoying all healthy food and everything all, isn't it? all healthy food pal yeah I've always always ate well myself so it's just implementing that into that really it's, it's no new for me really it's just Sharpening my cooking skills up a bit. Yeah, and what's the company called? It's DNA. DNA. DNA, DNA meal prep stop for the UK. Right. That's where we're at. Brilliant. Well, listen, good luck with that. Thank you, pal. Good training session today. Yeah, cheers, pal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Josh, nice little tick over session today for you. Yep. Uh, obviously, you're waiting for a date now, aren't you? And so, are you coping with this lockdown and we training regime? How's it altered? Yeah, um, it's been better, obviously, since we've, we've moved over here, me and my dad, we've, we've stuck in with training. Uh, we've been in constant contact with Dennis, so he's always working for us. And I'm just, like you said, just ticking over and I'm, I'm waiting for an odd part. Yeah. Uh, what did you think to boxing at weekend, Josh? Yeah, I think it was good. I thought he did enough to. Get it on, like, uh, you thought Eggington did enough to beat Cheeseman? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, he come on strong later on, didn't he? I like Eggington, he's a good, good fight. He didn't get a decision though, did he? No, no, he was, he was tight, like, but just my my style, I like I like how Eggington goes about things. Do you think that Cheeseman, age 24, Eggington, age 26, mm. do you think they've got miles on clock, Josh? Well, it, 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 it dep I, I don't know personally, it depends how they live their life, but... Um, I suppose people could say that about me. I, I've been in some hard fights, but Higginson always uh, he always delivers. I like Higginson. He's, he's a good fighter. He's a proper fighter. He fights anybody. He's had his step, setbacks and he's come back. I, I'd like to see him come again because I probably don't rematch with, with that fight. Yeah, I think they're probably going to go to that rematch really much, Will, because it, it does what it says on Tim, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you could see Mr Bean and Macklin, they were pushing rematch after round four, weren't they? Yeah, yeah but <laughs> to, to be fair, I know it, be, but it, it worked, turned out a good fight, didn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. oh it saved the show, didn't it? Yeah, it did play, it turned out a good fight. Uh, what did you think to Reese Blotty against Jordan Gill? Um, I don't know. It, he could have he could have pressured a bit much. I think it gave him uh, a bit much time, uh, John and Gill, you know, on back foot. But it uh, it, was, it was a decent fight, pal. Yeah. Recently, what did you think to Fabio Wardley against uh, Simon Villali? Yeah, good. Yeah, he did well, mate. He did well. Let's well, see how he develops. Uh, mm. Yeah, he did well. What about Dalton Smith, Nathan Bennett? Yeah, I like Dalton. He's, uh, Probably my favourite up and coming fighter. I like him. I like yeah. him. He's done. I like him. How they go back. Have you sparred Dalton? No, no, yeah, no. I've been over to obviously Grant and uh, been over to Jim and they always make us feel well. They're good people. It's not far from here, is it? No, no, they're good people. Yeah. All right then. Uh, and what do you think about this show that's coming up at week? And how do you think that'll pan out? Uh, we Terry and uh, Jonas. Natasha yeah. Jonas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Terry will win. On points. Uh, no, I think she'll stop her. Do you? Yeah. She, uh, she, she punches too hard, I think, for her. Yeah. She'll, she'll get her. Uh, might, might be a bit tricky for her, obviously, because she's got a good amateur pedigree. Uh, but Terry's smart enough, so keep it smart. First, first three or four rounds, keep it smart and then take over. Right. Obviously, Jonas will tire as well, I think we have been faces, but a couple of yeah. yeah. rounds, she seems, to, she seems to live right and she's, she's fit herself, but uh, I just think Terry will be too strong for her. Yeah. Following on from the other day then, Josh, how have you been? All good, pal. All good. Training going all right? Yeah, yeah, training's going well. Obviously, we had that lockdown and everything, but we're back in June now and everything's uh, going well, pal. You look happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm over the with, you know, we've got Jimmy here in Brampton. I'm just here today for your, for your gym opening, it looks gorgeous, mate. You've made yeah, a nice yeah. job of it. You must be very proud. Yeah, I'm proud, pal. It's, uh, you know, obviously, my dad's been in boxing 25 years and, I've, you know, I'm weaving. 
to, to do it in, in Brampton for it to you know for Brampton kids and surrounding areas, you know, this is what it's all about for me. So And obviously the people that I've been seeing coming and going for the last couple of hours and that they're all like local people, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're like a big family here. Um, you know, a, a boxing club is a family because you know we see each other every, every day and I just hope I can hopefully get a local kid around here chan chance I had, you know. Yeah. Um, you know with full boxing so that's what we try and do. Uh, you do the football as well don't you play on back here don't you know is it five a side or something you play or is that no, something no. that goes on in yeah, back? Yeah that's practicing yeah, you actually play on back. It's like a sports club but there's net there's netball going to be set up there's football there's obviously boxing so there's a lot for Brampton kids to do now so. Yeah and do you encourage them to play football as well Josh? Yeah any, any sports good I just like kids to be active you know not everybody's going to be a boxer so Mm. If, they, if they're going to play rugby or football or do karate, whatever it is, you know, I, I encourage any kid to do sport. Whatever it is you want to do, judo, whatever, as long as, long as it's getting them active, get some, get some out of the media community and it, that's what it's all about. Do you uh, take them for the runs and sprints and that? Cause, uh, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Because yeah. it's lot, ideal, that, isn't it? Yeah, we do a lot of running, uh, a lot of real sprints and that. Uh, you know, they do everything. So it gets them, uh, gets them active, Tom. What do the, the lads do come here academic wise? Because I know when you're at your other gym and that, didn't they do some sort of course? Yeah, yeah, stuff, no, no, obviously, it, this is predominantly a, a boxing club. Yeah, everything is a boxing coach, aren't you? You know, there's yeah. some kids, you know, who've got um, issues going on, and obviously, there's some kids who's not, but, um, you know, it's there's no, no secret, you know, it's a very really deprived area, so, you know, there's all different kinds of issues, so. There can be all sorts. You can. You just. You just a positive role model for a kid, aren't you? You know. You've got to set yourself. Um, you know. Look, this is where you've got to go and, and, and try and put them on the right path. Yeah. And how many people can you have in this gym, Josh? At what any one time? Is um, there a number? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, with COVID now, we're, we're all, we all allow 12, 12 kids in yeah. um, per class. So we've separated classes for to yeah, adjust to. I thought class. so. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I mean it's a big gym and we can get we can get enough enough in it to, to get around it. And how many were you getting in another one? About forty or fifty? Yeah, yeah, so obviously we're gonna to have to separate that. It's a quarter then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just obviously with COVID you can't you can't um, you can't have that many people in in, yeah. in one space but we work around in pal different classes, different times and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you've got three kids, Josh, haven't you? Yeah. And how many boxing? Yeah, uh, I've got Mikey, Jack, and Jacob. Obviously, uh, when when they when they get old enough to box, it'll be up to them. I mean, people always ask me, "Will your kids box?" And well, Mike, Mikey loves coming to the gym, and uh, mm. he, he's always he's coming up seven. Um, so I don't know. I'll encourage him to do all. I'll, I'll wait, I won't. I won't push him to box. Even though my dad's gonna be coach, uh, and he coaches other kids, he, he never pushed me into boxing. If I wanted car to go to the gym, he'd still go to the gym. So. Uh, I had to make that decision myself, and then kids will get the same. Same. I'll, I won't. I won't push them into it. But if they want to do it, they'll have to get hundred percent, like I have. Yeah, and obviously you're thirty-two now, Josh, and you're still pounding roads in the morning, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've had a great career. I've, uh, I've won six titles over three different ways. Um, you know, I, I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve, but it's not over yet. Paul. There's, there's still a, a couple of uh, really big nights in me. If if I if I want to live the way I were and or feeling or feeling the age, then you know obviously it'd be anyway. It's uh, like I said in, in November, I probably did the best performance in my career. So you know I'm still I'm still getting getting it there. Do you think that a lot of fighters when they get to you know 30 and they start getting a few nice paychecks and that? Do you think a lot of them lose a bit of, a bit of edge? Yeah, yeah, definitely. See, yeah, I love boxing as well. It's a bit different for me. I, 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 I love the, the hard training aspect of it. Mm. That's never really bothered me. Uh, I, I love boxing. Uh, it's my hobby as, as well. Obviously, I get um, first of all, I get paid good, good, good money to box now. Yeah. But uh, even I'd still do it for free. Yeah. Don't tell Dennis. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that, that's thing, you know. I, I don't, I don't. He's only joking there, Dan. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't love the 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 everything about boxing. Yeah. I, I love, I love fight. I love 
the, the competitive side of it. Yeah, and obviously you've had a great career there. Uh, who's the hardest puncher you've ever been in with, Josh? Uh, Felix Williams. Felix Williams, yeah, that 21 and 0 yeah. Southpaw. 21 and 28 and 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and three kids power eight. Did he? Yeah, three kids power eight. He, he didn't really know, he really know how to put them together. He it, um, it was a bit hard punching, but he had three kids power. No. And obviously, the, I'm not going to say who, oh, but we know a few that didn't want to fight him, don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you, you were you were you were dated. Don't get me wrong, I'm even the most skillful, but it was the most uh, natural punching power. Mm, who's that the best chin you've been in with, Josh? Um, I don't know. I don't know, really. Um, there's been a tough, few tough lads through my career, like um, you know, they've, they've all got different aspects of what they've yeah. got. You know, yeah. Like, um, obviously, I've been at an high level for, for well, most of my career. So uh, there's been there's been different aspects of what what they bring to to it. Yeah, Tyson Fury, Joshua, who wins? Fury. Yeah. Points or knockout? Points. Picks him apart. Does he? Mm. Easily. Easy. Mm. So that's where your your money will be. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If yeah. If, if, if if Tyson's heads on boxing, then nobody beats him in the world, do we? Mm. For the next five years. Do you reckon, yeah? Yeah. It's too, it's, it's too big. He's a natural, he's a natural fighting man. He's too big. He's too naturally gifted. Uh, mm. As long as he keeps switched on, obviously, he's had his issues and, he, and he's switched on now. I don't think he gets me for the next five years. Mm. Who's your favourite fighter of all time, Josh? Uh, of all time? All your series your best. Did you, did you like the Meldrick Taylor fight? Yeah, I class one on it, yeah. Do you think it was a bad stoppage? Uh, yeah, it shouldn't have stopped it, should you? Two been. seconds to go. Yeah, yeah. Bit harsh, wasn't it? Probably on pay what we're after. I've just been sent some at Josh a link regarding you doing uh, free boxing lessons, quarter past three till four o'clock at night. Can you tell me about that? Is it, what age is group is it? Yeah, so I, I, I didn't obviously everybody's it's great everybody's playing a bit stuff like that. we're gonna run basically Ross, I come out of the gym with a young lad do uh, well they're all in a handicap I go up and say oh you that boxer Josh well I said yeah yeah I said oh, I want to come boxing I said come Monday Wednesday Friday we're up and you know from half past five I said oh I can't no one does not no money you know what I mean and I, I thought to myself that young lad is he wants to come boxing but he can't he can't pay subs or stuff like that yeah, listen, I know it's an hard time for, you know, for a lot of families, as well as gyms, you know, keeping everything running, because you're limited to numbers, you know, you've got to stick by rules and regulations to coronavirus and all that, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to put a free, free lesson on for kids who, 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 That's can't, great, that, who can't afford to come, you know, and I did it off my own back, um, I just, I, when I was thinking about it all weekend, I had a word with my dad, I said, look, I'm going to do this for kids who are like that, that's brilliant, so now every week, there's actually been a uh, fundraising page for me on, on Facebook, we're all like £720 and uh, that's going to run all the time now, so there's going to be free, free, one free session every week for kids and when they go back to school I'll change times around, so that's for 10 to 16 year olds who've never had the opportunity to come boxing before, yeah. they can come, you know, well, yeah, they, your parents you know, don't, don't feel all, you know, embarrassed or whatever. Just send me a message, get them in, and I'll, I'll get them training. I'm going to be, I'm going to be going around Brampton and local areas, and any kids who I feel will benefit from it, I'm going to say, look, well, come to the gym, you come training. You know, I've got a ball, got the, everything they need. They've got all they need to do is bring themselves. Uh, so, what day is that one going to be, Josh? It's on a moment. It's on a Friday from quarter past three till four o'clock. And that's free for age ten to six. That's free. Bro. That's brilliant. That yeah. Josh, free. Cracking with that body shot, Sean. <laughs> Assemble on the plus. Good luck keeping up. Captain America. Black Panther. Captain America. Oh, slip. Who? Sure. Oh, is that? Have you been punching him 12 years? This summer, you know what? Sean don't like that left hook tip body, does he, mate? Oh, good, How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Fit and strong. 
Ben Trumpel. Looking well. Fight day will get released this week. Yeah. All looking good, isn't it? And he's getting it. his finger out for a change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's done well, mate. He's all done well for me. Everything he said, he's done. Yeah. Big team. Big team. So. Yeah, brilliant. All, all good. All good positive stuff. That looks an heavy, heavy body's bag session or body belt thing, didn't it, Josh? Are you all right? <laughs> Sean's stomach was red as hell, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, we kicked off pal's bag session this morning. Um, yeah, everything trained out. Everything went all right. How, yeah. how are you keeping it all right? Yeah, all good, pal. Um, should have a day have uh, this week or next week, so yeah. I've yeah, been talking to Dennis, so some of the bigs coming up, pal. Yeah. Monkey towards that, huh? Yeah, it's uh, exciting times for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's not many getting out, is there? No, it's, it's been lucky for me, because during the pandemic and all that happened, um, obviously I, I set this gym up in Brampton, and my dad's always worked at a boxing club in Brampton, yeah. so, you know, it was good, and um, my, my classes, score box and, and stuff like that, I've, I've had time to build that, so... It's doing well, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing really well, isn't it? so... And you're doing this personal training, aren't you, Yeah, Josh? yeah, that was sessions. Like, yeah. Is that, that going well? Yeah, yeah, it's going great. I couldn't, couldn't wish for it to go any better, so... It gave me time for, for that, obviously. It kept me a bit of training up, but I... I, I know it, it was quiet, obviously, with what, with what were happening with pandemic, so there was no chance of boxing any time in, in summer. I, I had a day, I think it was June, June 18th, something like that. That obviously won't really happen, so I just put my time and focus into other stuff, pal, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And is, how is everything uh, else in your life, Josh? You happy? Yeah, all good, pal, all good. Kids are good, so yeah. Kids all are right. happy, I'm happy, are Have you been watching much boxing lately? Um, yeah, to be fair, pal, I, 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 I used to be mad at boxing, watching it every week, and tonight, to, to be honest, I, don't, I, can't, I can't be bothered with it. There's a, I'm getting it. I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I can't be bothered. It's just, it's the bias, you, isn't it? Yeah, exactly you've been in boxing as long as I have. You know, you know it's what, different you, to watch at time, isn't it? You, you, yeah. you just know what's going on, Paul. You know what's yeah. going on. And it did. If, if you're in a situation, um, you know, I, 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 here, listen, I know what lads are doing. They're taking fights and they shouldn't be taking them, but they're taking them because obviously there's no one else about me. There's, yeah. no, there's, only, there's only two promoters pretty sure as well. Um, obviously, Dan Dennis has got two planned uh, outside of work, Ern Warren and obviously Dennis now. Mick Hennessy put one on, didn't Oh, yeah, Mick Hennessy did, yeah. And, and to be fair, Mick Hennessy, he, he should get a lot more yeah. plaudits than he does. He's, he's, you know, he's done great, hasn't he, for, yeah. for years. He's like unsung hero at promoters, like he never gets mentioned, does he? But he's doing great as well, Paul. But to be fair, for for the majority of boxers, it's, it's, it's going to be an hard time. I think it's going to be, it's going to be like it for... Oh, wow. Yeah, consider a filter like. <coughs> mm. yeah, um, I, I was just on a roll, like it just come up by prime, but here yeah, see it. Obviously, uh, you're in a good position though at the moment as regards outside, well, still in boxing, but not the fighting situation. Your businesses seem to be flourishing. Yeah, yeah. That, that's so you're not we're desperate to take no, any no, fights, no, are you? That, 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 that whole thing, uh, that's what. When, when fighters come to the end of their career, more than likely, that they've got no to fall back on or they've, yeah. got, they've got no options so the tech face is shunt or they carry on too long and they end up getting you know getting you know seriously hurt and stuff like that yeah. they, they carry on too long but my dad when I, I got my trainer's license when I, when I was 27 and everyone was like what are you getting your trainer's license for because I've got me and my dad we've, my dad's run jeans for 25 years I always wanted to carry that on so that, yeah. that, that, I always had my eye on that after anyway so yeah. I'm not going to be one you know, when it does come to end my Brexit career, I'm going to have all the stuff to, to follow in, and that's what I've been building up. Yeah. Uh, Alright then, well, and how's young Dempsey doing? Apart from having your own business now, oh, Dempsey, oh, yeah. uh, DNA following meal Josh's prep. Again, I? I mean, <laughs> following Josh's footsteps again, aren't I? Pardon? Following Josh's footsteps again, aren't I? Are you doing alright? I'm doing well, yeah. Pa, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you want to be following my footsteps with cooking, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> You nice. can't boil an egg, can you, Josh? Nice. Yeah, I, <laughs> oh, I, I, I met a sardine once and I said, does that mean I can cook now? 
yeah. But you've been to university, aren't you, to do yeah. all the nutrition and things like yeah, that? Yeah, nutrition, so, learned a lot about food, what's good for you. So you're, you're integrating it with your boxing career, because yeah. you're 2-0 yeah. now, aren't you? Is it, and you're fighting at lightweight. At lightweight, yeah. Yeah, and how old are you, 20? Well, when, I, when I finished uni, everybody yeah. thought I was going to be a light heavyweight, I was that big. Yeah, you were a big one. I put 14 and a half stone, and it was just doing what I've done, meal, meal preps. I didn't do no spectacular role, just at them, lost four stone, and that's what sparked the idea, really. Well, that's brilliant. Uh, You'll, you'll, you'll do well because you're pretty driven. And how old are you now, Dex? You're early 20s, aren't you? 24 now. 24 okay. now. So, two now, you're looking to get out maybe this year if you can? Yeah, yeah, yeah as soon as possible, yeah, lightweight, yeah. Whenever my yeah. dad, yeah, whenever my dad, uh, yeah. whenever he's happy with something. It's hard, it's yeah. hard. We, 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 my dad's not going to take no daft chances yeah, with me like all these other, other kids have to at the minute. Yeah. He's, my dad's been through it, and obviously Josh has had a really tough career and come out on top, and it's not what they want for me. I, I, I want to fight, but I've got to listen to my dad. And it's, You're it's, not going to be thrown under a exactly, bus, you mean? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just learning, staying in gym training every day. And, and obviously you're busy with your meal prep business yeah, and things yeah, like that. Yeah. You got your last help, haven't you? Yeah. She must be delivering them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> While you're training. We do, we'll be on it later. Well, I think that's good, mate. Uh, it's something that's around boxing, because boxers yeah, have to eat yeah. healthily, and looking at the meals in there, I think they look fantastic. Cheers, well, well it's, it's ideal uh, for, yeah. for gym, gym full. Not, it's not just a gym for, 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 for you know, keep fit. Um, you know, it's busy all day, so, yeah. they, they, you know, it's got a good, good set of lads at your gym as well. It's not just a boxing gym where you come in and you yeah. use bags. Yeah. It, it's a team, and we'll, that's what my dad's always implemented, you know, and Josh has carried it on. He's, we've got a good, good unit here, we've got yeah. a good team. Yeah. And when boxing resumes, we'll have a good team that, that gets some good winners. Yeah, and there's They're a all supportive as well, like Josh's new ventures, mine, and it, it's good to see, Paul. Yeah, Thriving. and obviously uh, there's a couple of good kids in this gym as well. Yeah, at yeah, I'm not going to yeah. say the names, but they're, they're doing really well, aren't they? Amateurs. Yeah, yeah. That's I, what think, I, mean, I think. I think when we've we've had some lads for like since it'd be ten or eleven, they're yeah. to like sixties. I mean, uh, some really good kids and, and some older end ones who've been with us a long time. We've got some really good lads coming through. But in the next yeah. couple of in the next couple of years, um, obviously. They're going to go professional and do some mm. really good kids coming through. People have some uh, national champions. Yeah, yeah. As well. yeah I, I, like I said mm. to him, my dad, my dad's had national champions. Like, and I'd, I'd love for one to come from here, from from Brompton. You know, well, mm. either from Brompton or from Brompton gym. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. But we've got some cracking lads coming through, and there's no there's no egos in here. There's no, you know, it's like we're all, uh, team, we're, right? we're all in yeah. it together. There's no, I, I'm yeah. exactly the same as a ten-year-old kid, and I'm exactly the same trend. There's no, there's no prima donnas. Prima donnas, yeah. yeah. Your dad like, tells them to leave their egos outside, doesn't he? Well, yeah. I see, yeah. That's what we've been raised with. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what, what we put on there. You don't. Uh, there's no egos in boxing gyms. Mm. No. Tell me about uh, this that you're doing for kids in community, where they can come to the gym once a week and it's free. Yeah. yeah. You don't charge them. Yeah. No. What what made you come out with that idea, Josh? Well, I saw a thing of young lad outside gym one night, and there were a group of lads, and he says, uh, "I want to come box." He was that boxer, Josh. Well, I said, "Yeah, yeah." He said, "I want to come boxing, but my mum dad can't afford it." Like, and I said, "What do you mean they can't afford it?" He said, "Oh, my mum dad not working." That like, I said, "Yeah, you don't need you don't need." I, I was thinking about it all the time. You know what I mean? For that young lad to say that, it, like. So now time for some family, so I thought, is that, you know, is that what's stopping them coming? So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll give them a free session a week for lads who can't, can't pay, you mm. know, from deprived families or if the mum and dad's out of work or whatever, they can come and they can, they can train a session free, they'll have the same training as, as everybody else can get. The, the young kids shouldn't feel like that, that, you know, they can't do certain stuff because of money, so... You know, like, I was just, I just wanted to put out. And what day a week is that on, Josh? That, that's on a Friday at minute. Friday, yeah, what Friday, time is that? Quarter to four till half past four. Quarter to four while half past four on a Friday. Yeah. It's a 45 minute session. Yeah. And what age group is it? That's from uh, 10 to 16. 10 to 16 yeah. and that's free? That's free. Well, I think that's, that's brilliant yeah, well, for I'm, area. Yeah. And are you a chocker at the moment? Yeah, and I've also... I've, I've chocker with everything. Yeah, yeah, every class. Obviously with Covid, I can only, I can only have so many in for so many classes. I've got to book in. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I've just put uh, young girls, teenage girls on as well. From from thirteen to nineteen year old, that starts next Monday. They're gonna have a session on their own as well, from quarter to four till half past four. That's just a pounder session. That's just trying to get you more 
young girls into sport because yeah. we've only got a few members in there and it can be a bit intimidating sometimes for young teenage girls to, to want to come to a boxing club because yeah. there's a lot of boys there. So I thought, you know what, we'll do a session ju just for girls. Mm. In fact, might feel a bit more comfier than if they come to that and they can, they can integrate, go, with, yeah, integrate with lads, yeah. So, you know, that's, that's another idea I have. I'm, I'm filling them. Driving my life mad like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so you're doing the squad box, that's what yeah. you call your gym, isn't it now obviously yeah. your sessions and you're doing your PT training. Yeah, yeah, so, training. so so squad box where well, I set it up with me long term friend. Uh, that's group small group training, we do that twice a day in the morning and the night. That that's going great. That you know, that's that's going brilliant. So is it seven days a week, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well we I have Saturday off, I have, I have kids Saturday so uh, must have worked Saturday. Yeah, every day. Sure. And then you're yeah, obviously yeah, on Saturday. Days. You've got to chase your mic around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that's been uh, that's been more tiring day. Really. What are you saying? What are you saying to to your lass on a Saturday? Just can you send me back to work? <laughs> yeah. Well, do we have yeah, enough yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, they all fill this that small group training. That that's going great, pal. All those classes are full with that. Doing with PT through there, and obviously my boxing club with my dad. Yeah. Uh, and all the rest of coaches. We volunteer as time for that, then you know it's all good, mate. It's all, it's all good. That's brilliant. And uh, when, when are you uh, looking to have a title fight? When you've had about 15 fights or something at Dempsey? Is that, really, is that your goal of British champion? When, when, when will champion? that be now, Paul? We don't know when I'm going to get 15 fights in, do we? I mean, yeah, yeah, I know, I see what you mean. Yeah, well, well, is that your goal? Whenever my dad thinks I'm ready. We're, we're, yeah. pro we're, we're progressing at a good rate, we're sparring well, we're fit, I'm staying ready, so when, whenever my dad thinks. It just comes at different that, stages. That's it, yeah. 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 You see some kids at box for titles that aren't ready, they get a shot and they're not ready and they get mm. found out. But yeah. it, it, whenever my dad thinks I'm ready, that's when I'll think. Well, that's obviously your dream, isn't it, to be a British champion? Yeah. Yeah, because that's like the, the yeah. big, big on the British belt, you, you boys, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, it's pinnacle, isn't it? I mean, we, yeah, we yeah, three, yeah. Me, me and my dad are looking at, at, at pushing for a British title. That, that, that's his goal. Obviously, stuff's harder to, to yeah. plan out, and, but that, that's what we wanted, Paul. By the time I'm 27, be, be mm. every, every title is good to win. I mean, when, when I, I won my century title when I was 19, I, Oh, and you're the youngest to ever win that, aren't you, yeah, Josh? Yeah, at least amount you know, of fights. I only had four fights, you know what I mean? Mm. So, at least amount of fights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and um, it, was, it, was good, that was good, you know, it was a good achievement for me, because, you know, at that age. But I'm just proud I've been able to maintain that, really. Yeah. Championship level for as many years, it takes a lot of commitment and a lot of uh, drive, like. I've seen a lot of kids come and go while Josh yeah, yeah. there, haven't they? Seven British title face, yeah. European title line. You know, there's been some good, been some good nights. I, I think uh, it's had a straight Broadhurst in, in it next week. You know, that was a great, that was a great win when I knocked on Broadhurst at Commonwealth Games, Commonwealth Manchester Arena. That was the first sporting event since terrorist attack there. That was a good night. Yeah. Um, you know, there's been some, there's been loads of good nights, but with with Felix Williams who won that um, featherweight IBO international title last November, that 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 was one of his best nights as well. Last performance. You're only as good as your last performance, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've not been out since February, have you, Josh? No, no. But you're hoping to get out soon, yeah? Well, obviously, I, I had a fate uh, penciled in for June. Got cancelled? Yeah, I got cancelled with, with pandemic, like with Covid, so... But there could be some new soon, mate. Yeah. Dennis is working hard. Um, he's done everything. Well, I don't know about working hard, he makes a phone call, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. When people say Dennis is working hard, it's usually like they don't, they don't set tea with a glass of red. No, he, he, he's, uh, he's been great for me, pal. Yeah. I've, you know, yeah. I've, like I've always said, I always said to me, Dad, yeah. he sat down, shook his hand, he, he's done it. So, mm. you know, he's a, he's a great manager of uh, him with Steve Cruz. Steve Crump, his uh, business partner, the Yeah. Now, I'm only joking about Dennis there, not working hard. It's probably the hardest job in the world, making boxing fights in the middle of a virus. Well, I enjoyed doing that today, uh, Mix. Uh, I think that brings an end to the uh, Josh Whale little short film with him and his brother Dempsey and the gym, Mickey's Athletic, uh, Court and Wood Working Men's Club, Brampton. So, enjoyed it. So, all right. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like and subscribe, and. Uh,
share it with your pals if you think it's any good. Alright? Just trying to help Josh and his dad move forward with Jim and that. You know, it's funny, isn't it? I put a video out that I spent a bit of money on and took a bit of expense going up to Newcastle. And it didn't do half at views that that one that I put out saying, Do we believe Shannon Courtney? I mean, we've got Steve Wraith here, he's a promoter and he's passionate about the game and he wants to know what's happening with small old boxing, but nobody cares, do they? All they want to know is about people who do views on social media and it's all a bit crap, in it, really? You know what I mean? So, what can you do? One of them things, isn't it? One of them things where it is what it is, isn't it? So, alright, so have a good week and we'll get this out to you probably weekend, Friday or something. This will be out. So, that speed camera, speed cameras all over Barnes, the bane of my existence. Woo! Not got me, has it? No, I think I'm alright. Got more life than a cat. Alright, peace out. Big shout out Innovation Alloys. <laughs> Hope you're alright, AJ. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>